My name is Rishana and I uh, recently ruptured my Achilles and I wanted to kind of make a video log of my experience, you know, um, having had this injury. Um, I'm just going to tell you a little bit about myself briefly. I manage a gym, a, a women's fitness center here in uh, Brooklyn, New York, and um, I you know, by all accounts was an extremely active person. I uh, taught aerobics classes. I also worked out pretty much every day. Um, and I, at the time of my injury, was actually training for something called Metro Dash. I was looking forward to a sort of an obstacle course, uh, you know, a timed obstacle course kind of thing, sort of like Warrior Dash or um, Tough Mudder, that sort of thing. Um, this has been, uh, an extremely traumatic experience for me primarily because a lot of how I make money comes from me having to be active and being able to teach people aerobics and you know work out and stuff like that and I just like working out and being active just in general um, this happened to me on Monday uh, April 16 2012 at about 10 p.m. I was doing sprints and it's not like I wasn't warmed up. I was warmed up. This was like my seventh sprint that I was doing for the evening. I was dripping sweat, hot as hell. And I went to do it and then all of a sudden there was like a massive pop. I initially thought that something bit me. Then I thought that somebody threw something at me. Like I just didn't know what happened to me. And then I turned to walk and then I noticed that I couldn't walk. And then I just kind of like crawled to the wall and sat down and um, my trainer tried to take my shoe off and that's when I realized that there was something drastically wrong because the area of my Achilles had was like there was like a huge dent right there so I knew that there was something really wrong I have to say I think that I was in like real denial because I thought that this was gonna be this like a, a, a temporary thing and I was looking at him and I was like yeah so what like what three four days tops which was actually too much for me like I didn't want to be out for any days at all and he kind of like just was like no I don't think it's just for a few days and like he I think he really like he already knew immediately what happened to me and he was trying to be nice about it and he kind of hinted towards six weeks which you know was just devastating for me to hear um needless to say I, I, I was taken away from the gym and an ambulance was which was very embarrassing for me. Um, and then I got to the hospital um, about, I got to the hospital maybe 10.30, four o'clock is when I got, uh, I finally got an x-ray. And then maybe about an hour later, I spoke with an orthopedic doctor and they told me, you know, the worst news that I could possibly get is that I, you know, I had a ruptured Achilles. I'm 40 years old. I'm, you know, I've, since I, this has happened, I've done, a lot of research and I know I'm in the age range and stuff like that so anyway um I have surgery scheduled for next Friday at about three o'clock in the afternoon so you know the only reason I'm looking forward to is because I want to start the healing process already and I've been in limbo for a couple of weeks already Friday will make almost three weeks that I've just been like this and it's just time for me to, to get the ball rolling. I know I'm gonna be in a cast for a long time afterwards and I'm not looking forward to it. Um, I've been trying to do exercises, push-ups, and you know, trying to you know get some dips and pull-ups and stuff like that going, but it's really depressing to not be able to run and jump and just get a good sweat going. I mean, it's very, very depressing. So, um, you know, Again, I'm just looking forward to get you know to getting the ball rolling. Um, I opted to have the surgery because I know that there's a greater chance of it re-rupturing if I just let it just heal on its own. Um, and I, you know, even if it's a, a, a I have a 10% better chance of it not rupturing, I'll take that. So, um, and the other thing is. You know, I'm told that there's going to be the same amount of recovery whether I have the surgery or not. So it's not like I just let it heal on its own and I'm up and running in a month. You know, it's going to be, you know, 
several months before I'm actually at 100% where I was before. Um, so that's it. Um, again, I just wanted to just kind of just talk about it on camera. It's therapeutic for me. Um, you know, I'm living my life. I'm, I still go to work. Uh, I have an elevator, thank goodness, <laughs> where I work, so I don't really have to worry about walking up and down the stairs. And I'm gonna make another video in another couple of days before um, before I have the surgery. So that's it. All right, I'll talk to you soon. Bye.